Welcome back, everybody. Episode six of A Drink with Jake. Got my buddy Vic back here with me. What's up? What's up, man? So, uh, well, first of all, welcome back. Been in LA Thank for a little you. bit. So, yeah. A few uh, days. Finally made it down there. Finally made it down there. If you guys haven't heard uh, one of the first episodes we did, Vic is a, a buddy of mine, does a lot of videography, photography. Got a spot out in LA, so he's going to spend a couple um, couple weeks there every month, and then come back here to to Reno and hang out mm-hmm. with us. And uh, this is where he permanently lives for sure. But uh, yeah, so thanks for jumping on, man. Yeah, this should be fun. I'm excited. It's been too long, but yeah, if you're out there in LA, look me up. Hit him up. Big Vic Media. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so well, cool. But uh, yeah, so we got some news. We got our, uh, our our drinks out here. Kayla and I are officially having a baby, which is stoked. We're yep. super excited to get that out to the world we've mm-hmm. known for a little while so it's cool to finally announce it. yeah <laughs> and in full transparency uh some of the friends knew for a while too <laughs> yeah. because i mean when we, we hang out with you guys long enough we know that you guys don't normally skimp out on drinks but <laughs> yeah. when we see kayla skimping out on the drinks we're something's like, mm. off yeah so, something's off yep so super stoked um we also released a video about a new car we purchased mm-hmm. vehicle van yep. Pretty funny uh, YouTube video. If you guys haven't seen that, check it out. Um, but super stoked. We sold our RV, so we got this new van, and it's a converted Sprinter van. Super, super fun. We're, uh, it'll be great for me on my fishing trips, too, mm-hmm. which will be sick. But yeah, no, that thing's sweet. It, it's going to be super fun. Cool. Yeah, we just went out this uh, last weekend. We went and stayed in it. And uh, what was cool about it was we just basically drove out to the middle of nowhere and pulled off the highway and took some dirt roads and tried to find something and ended up mm-hmm. finding some pretty cool spots. So... Um, yeah, we're super stoked about it, but definitely easier to get around and like back trails now that you're not towing anything. Definitely. I mean, way less stress too. It's less stressful and driving back the wind, we got high winds right now. So that trailer would be blowing everywhere, which is terrifying. So that was nice. But yeah, man, it's going to be cool. Um, a lot of, you know, we've already covered the 1000 hobbies video or a podcast that we already did. And this is going to really help me get out there and do more of the, the 1,000 mm-hmm. hobbies, more fishing, more mountain biking, hiking, camping. Actually, what was cool where we were staying is there's multiple, I don't even know how many trails there were, but there's a lot of different hikes where people were going backpacking in and staying overnight, <clears throat> like seven miles in and then seven miles back, which is actually probably a really like nice hike. When we were, we were doing our Mount Rose hike, it was like 15 miles a day, which was pushing it for us when we don't do that all the time, right. you know, so... Uh, but yeah, we're super stoked and I'm excited to get more more trips going out of this this yeah. vehicle. Should be fun. Uh, forgive me for asking, but uh, now I'm wondering what's the point of the Jeep? Like, the Jeep? Yeah, why do you need the Jeep now? Well, so if I'm not going to go stay overnight, I mean, I could still take the van, but the Jeep is nice because one, I could probably, I can get it more places. So like when I go shooting and stuff, we'll do a little more off-roading to get out to go shoot. Yeah. Um, things like that. But also some of the fishing spots, I wouldn't want to always take this van uh, there. You know, it's it's got the shower, the bathroom, the bed, which is sick. So if yeah. I do go somewhere where I want to stay the night and fish the, uh, at nighttime and then in the morning and then drive back, this will be perfect. Um, but the Jeep is a little more, it still allows me to get to other places if I'm not just specifically going to stay overnight. Yeah. And it's a little easier to get out there. You know, definitely could get by probably selling it, mm-hmm. but I love that thing. It'll hold you over till the cyber truck. Oh gosh, dude, those things are <laughs> so that. sick. I mean, <laughs> I, I, they're not really like the coolest looking, I think, but they're kind of cool. They're cool. If they're even real. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> they're supposed to be getting in, those. Supposed to be in production soon, right? Yeah. In 20, I, sometime I no this idea. year, I thought. I That'd be sweet. But it would be so weird seeing those on the road because I, I mean they don't even them. look like Real. anything from this generation yeah. or the next so <laughs> it's weird so sick. they're elon, one step away from floating yeah dude elon has it he's he's got it going man he's mm-hmm. a genius those are so cool even with the 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 window smash like they still sold so many i think and they just become like the the highest uh the, or the most valuable car company in america like they just surpass every other car yeah. company like I mean, like, to me, it makes sense because they're, I mean, as Joe Rogan would say, smarter than every other car out there. All oh, other dude. cars seem stupid. Uh, and when I talk about them, my friends are always like, I don't even know why you really like them. I'm just like, how could you not? Like, that's not the only car I'd want because, right. like, if I ever had to do a road trip, I'm not trying to It'd pull be, over yeah. for hours yeah. to charge. But, you know, like, for day-to-day driving, I would love one. Oh, and dude. it's, like... 
when I was uh, test driving one um, a few years ago, I, I don't even know. It was some sort of Model S, but I think it was a little bit tricked out. But I mean, yeah. just and I was in yours too. But it's just gut wrenching when you step it's, on the pedal because it doesn't so make sense. So weird, dude. How yeah. fast and no gear shift. Torque. You just go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's weird. Instantaneous. I mean, it's like yeah. electric RC cars. Those yeah. things are super those fast. Were, yeah, those were fun, man. We used to mess with those back in the day. Like the or the gas powered ones were mm-hmm. sick. But yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, no, they've got going. I've even seen the Cybertruck. They've done like a like a conversion or or something to it to where the back of it lifts up into a tent, you know, like they do on oh, top of the Jeeps. Yeah. And I was like, man, that would be pretty Wonder cool. How, how big's the bed? Do you know? I don't know. It's a pretty decent size. I mean, they got the ATV in there, which brings mm-hmm. us to a, like, are they doing electric ATVs now, or what's gonna <laughs> that be sweet? What's gonna go on after that? Uh, there was um, a music video that Travis Scott was in. It was like right after the announcement of the uh, Cybertruck. And, and so he, he had the Cybertruck and the quad oh, there. And so I'm guessing they weren't actually it. They're like yeah. they just had someone make a body. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's in tight with Elon. Yeah. It's like, yo, <laughs> you like, we'll let s- me use that. Yeah, we'll slide you 500 grand to let <laughs> us use this car because I'm sure it that's wasn't sick. cheap no yeah. matter which route they went. Yeah. But that is cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of how we got into the van. It was like, you know, well, obviously, like the whole van life thing is taken over right now. It's pretty mm-hmm. popular. And especially with everything right now, this is. It's just so easy to travel and get somewhere and go camp where you normally wouldn't, you know, and just, yeah. just get out. And, you know, what's nice about this is a lot of HOAs don't allow you to park campers in your house and things like that. So we have this parked in our front driveway so we could just, you know, load it up and go, which is super nice. But what I, I actually started with my Jeep. In, my, in the back of my Jeep, I have both of the back seats laid down. Mm. Put some, I cut some wood to kind of fit the back of it put that down so it's a nice flat surface put a mattress in there like a small foam mattress and i actually that was like one of the first fishing trips i ever did was i just took the jeep out to a lake nearby stayed i fished at night didn't catch anything but hung out slept in the jeep woke up the next morning started fishing i did catch a couple the next morning but i think that's kind of how we got pretty hooked i was like man this is sick just to like drive out there and be able to go like in these spots where you know you can't really take trailers or it's just so easy and convenient to do but 1,000 hobbies about to get real. It's, cool. <laughs> it's about to become four hobbies. It's, yeah, <laughs> instead of just one. Yeah. It's going to be cool. And then in November when, you know, when the baby's here, we're like, all right, back to no hobbies yeah. again and no sleep. But, That'll be interesting. Yeah, I know. You know Not, what are you, you going to do? You live oh, such an exciting know. life right now. <laughs> it's going to die down for a little bit. And then after that, it's going to pop off again. Yeah. It should be good. My, I, I try to just remember my buddy has a, uh, a two-year-old and for the last, once they turned like one, you know, six months, the first six months is hard. And then after that, you know, I, I, I think it, you start to get in a groove and they, you know, get a little bit older. But yeah. when they hit about one, dude, this guy, they go camping, they go hiking, they do like everything with this yeah. kid and he loves it. So I'm like, all right, got to try and piggyback off of that. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, and it'll be good to, you know, teach them young. You oh, know? for sure. Um, on the van life subject though it almost seems like if you get a van now like that could easily turn into your business because the van life thing is so popular right now dude like, it's unreal maybe, the amount of people on youtube right now that are a fan they do van life <clears throat> maybe yeah. they started because of something else but it, it is super popular so if you guys are, i hope i hope they enjoy it yeah you know but it i mean it's just really cool because there's so many different things you can do yeah not only to the vans but to like camping and places you can go and it's like you know, we went to Yosemite last year or two years ago, and we've wanted to go back ever since. But we're like, we don't really want to tow a trailer all the way down there, and mm-hmm. it's kind of it's packed and traffic and towing and yeah. dogs. You know, we got dogs in the car. So like this thing, it's like we were saying that on the way back, man, we could really take this thing to Yosemite, stay in either the campgrounds or whatever, rather than a hotel, and drive it and go see all the spots. And if you need to pull off and have some lunch and hang out with the dogs, take mm-hmm. the dogs for a walk, you know, get them some food, whatever. It's just, it's clutch. Yeah. But yeah, this, it could be super cool. That's what I'm really hoping. And one of the reasons we got it was like, you know, we could have a lot of adventures that'd be really fun that I can also put out there and people would, you know, love to watch. Yeah. It'd be sick. Yeah. I'm stoked. Yeah. I mean, I, like I know nothing about building up a van, like oh the people gosh. who do custom vans. And like there's so many that. resources out there for people who mm-hmm. want to do that. And, you know, if I ever want a van, at least any time in the foreseeable future, I would have to build it, you know, yeah. that, 
at least have to have an open van for room for like a mattress or something. Yep. Uh, just because, you know, like the brand new things are just definitely out of the price range right now. But I mean, it's cool that there's just so many resources out there for people. And it's so, you know, I think entertaining for people because, you know, it's just like leading that more adventurous life. Like you don't have yeah. to put all that money into plane tickets and go travel and whatnot right. like you could put into a van and see your own country and stuff like well, that. Well, what, what I've noticed too is a lot of, uh, you know, freelance photographers and videographers do it because they're going out to different places. So when yep. uh, they're either driving to work to one of the jobs that they have or they don't have a job, so they're just creating content and they're mm-hmm. just driving around and living out of that rather than, you know, paying for a mortgage, I guess, you know, or they either have a house and they just use this to travel to other jobs and stuff and create content along the way, which is sick. But yeah, that's, yeah, dude, it's, I mean, it's just so fun. It Mm. it is so cool to be able to get out there and like, you know, this last weekend, uh, you know, making a little bit of a video. So if you guys want to go check out the YouTube, check out the YouTube channel and you'll be able to see, but it was so cool. Like I would have never gone to this place if we didn't have one because we were just like, Literally 24 hours before, we're like, all right, we're officially going camping. You know, let's go find something. <clears throat> and we were driving off the road, and I just pull up the maps, and I'm looking, like, where we can go. And my parents, they have one, so they're like, all right, let's try this lake. And we go to this lake. Well, the dirt road, I was telling you earlier, was just, like, miserable to get there. But we would never be able to get there with anything else. And we get there, and, the, I mean, the lake was just beautiful. It was so cool. So it was like... You know, I'm already super stoked that we have it because it'll you'll be able to go see parts of the country that you would have never seen. Like I would have mm-hmm. never been to this lake, would have never known about it, would have never tried to get there. Like just, you know, and that's it, it, it'll it'll be a lot of adventures and a lot of fun. What yeah. I'm interested to see is there's a couple. I think it's called Radian or something. It's like reminds me of Tesla. It's an electric car company. They almost look like Range Rovers kind of, okay. but they're all electric and they're built for like an outdoor off road kind of like activity yeah that's sweet and it's all electric so i don't know if they're like if there's enough solar or something to maybe like help charge some stuff because we've mm. got solar on the van so i'm interested to see that yeah. that'd be like a because with gas like i mean if you're going hundreds of miles out into the desert or something and there's nowhere to get gas that's an issue but if you mm. also need to charge and i don't think they have batteries or solar enough to charge those batteries for an actual car yeah <laughs> but if they could get there eventually that would be pretty sick um, I was actually just thinking that recently. I was like, why? I, I feel like that would be one of the next steps for Tesla. I mean, maybe not after the Cybertruck, but, you know, making a van yeah. uh, like that, you know, would be super cool. They would just have to, I'm guessing, you know, like really perfect the battery and recharging yeah. technology, you know, because yeah. I mean, how crappy would that be where you just you drove two hours and now you can't, can't get uh, anywhere else <laughs> you, you can't cook in your van that you're supposed yeah. to be able to you know and then you can't charge and you yeah. can't you know so they have to figure out that but i'm sure that's nothing to you on yeah right nothing's nothing to do. It's, yeah. like, it's nuts yeah no i think they could figure out like so when we go out we've got like two different battery systems like the vehicle battery which runs obviously the vehicle and we have two or three batteries that power everything else Mm -hmm. that's hooked up to solar. So as long as we've got good sun, we're good to cook. We're good to run heat because it's diesel runs off the gas. Um, And uh, mostly, I mean, at least normal campers, they travel when it's sunny. Yeah, it's nice out. You know, at least you have some, unless you're like kind of blocked by trees and things like that. But the solar is good enough to like, we don't have to worry. You know, we can run the lights. We can run the the, um, cook cook stove everything like that is totally good so i could see running all that stuff but the issue is if it's a fully electric vehicle having enough battery and charge to actually drive the vehicle right. that far out and get it back yeah yeah trust knowing you could get it back right. without yeah. yeah yeah so it, it it'll be interesting i think there's a there's definitely a future for it but mm-hmm. yeah we'll have to keep an eye on it but yeah yeah i don't know we want we want like i was telling you earlier we want to do a trip to yosemite again and it would just make it so fun because then you can like, you know, and we have dogs, so you can still travel with dogs. Mm-hmm. They're, they've got a nice spot to hang out in and it's nice and cool. It's insulated and everything like that. So it's, yeah. it's pretty sweet. What's but. the the gas uh, savings? Because I'd imagine that you're saving gas just by using that instead of towing um, just because you'd be pulling, you know probably a thousand pounds or something i would say yes and no because we're we were pulling with a a vehicle that wasn't really fit to pull Mm -hmm. i mean it's a it was a jeep grand cherokee so it was was enough towing capacity was fine yeah 
but it probably got better gas mileage than what the van does itself. But when you're towing, it goes down. So, I mean, I, we're probably getting around the same. It might be a little bit better mm-hmm. with the diesel. Yeah. Um, since it is diesel, it's a little bit better. But I think we're probably pulling around 15, 16 miles per gallon. And that's on the highway. And I mean, it's, you know, it's a, a 170 wheelbase, which if anyone knows anything about vans, it's just one of the shorter... Um, or 144, sorry, my buddy has the 170. So mm. we have the shorter wheelbase. So gotcha. it's not a big not a big vehicle. But then the cool thing about that is if you're going somewhere that you want to camp and tow something, it's got the same tow rating that that car that we used to have. So we could tow stuff if we want to too. Yeah. But um, but the diesel is nice because it our heater and things like that run off diesel. So we have no propane in this entire thing, which is another, you know, if we have any camping freaks out there, if it's annoying to one worry about just the diesel and then also about propane but when we're out there we're just worrying about diesel because that's our gas that's our heater and then we have an induction stove which is all solar so mm. it's like you can pretty much as long as you have diesel like you're in sun you're set to go for a while which is pretty cool so is there uh because i mean the the brand of van is mercedes is there like no decent american option like because i feel like mercedes is like just crushing the competition i think they are <clears throat> and the reason for that is uh it's just the the diesel option so the, a lot of the other ones you'll see is like a ford the ford transit mm-hmm. vans the ram pro masters do those like come tricked out like like can you get them tricked out um from the dealer kind like of that so we've got the winnebago rebel yeah so it's a mercedes chassis and a winnebago coach mm. winnebago also makes um, like I think it's called like a Travato or something like that, but it's another van on a Ram body, and gotcha. that's more of like a like a mini motorhome. It's a little bit bigger than ours, mm. little uh, like just different layouts and things like that. But it's on the Ram body. The issue with that is I don't think the Ram bodies have four wheel drive. That's where the the Mercedes really like just kind of destroy the competition yeah. is having four wheel. So like, it, and it's just like if you're paying that much for a vehicle. And it's supposed to be able to get you places you want to go. Yeah. Having four by four is like. Well, and is that the is the Dodge one diesel? Or I think are they are diesel, they but it's still it's still it's rear wheel or you know yeah. or front wheel. Because what I know. hear is that diesel is supposed to last way longer than a gas engine. I think and so. so. I'm sure that yeah. would be a factor too. Yeah. So like that's, this one's better. Yeah. My dad used to drive trucks, and he was like, "Man, if you're gonna get something like this, yeah. you're gonna put all these miles on it. You want a diesel? Yeah. Like get a diesel. It's better for just everything. Mm-hmm. And it is sick, dude. Like towing." You know, in in that car, if we were going up, you know, we live in mountains, so going up mountain ranges and stuff, oh, we're dropping down to like to 35, 40 miles an hour uphill when it's supposed to be going 60, you know, like 65. So that was like one dangerous and kind of scary and it just sucks. You're just overworking the car. And I mean, this thing, dude, you can cruise 65 the whole time. It's, it pulls, and it's meant to pull it. So, Mm. so much just feels safer. A lot more So can you tell with that? Yeah. Remember we actually, we went camping at Eagle Lake for your birthday and mm-hmm. I stayed. Kayla drove home for work. I oh, stayed yeah, the extra night. They, they my the parents towed home. my trailer back yeah. with their their van, so yeah. it was pretty sick. Um, that was so, yeah, fun. It was super fun. We gotta go we back. Gotta that again. Yeah, for sure. The only thing that wasn't cool about that place was the bees. I mean, oh, they, yeah. like there was just a lot of them, but those bee traps were pretty good. That was pretty clutch. And yeah. we're not talking about bumblebees or honeybees. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hornets and wasps. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. That was like this weekend was bad with uh, mosquitoes, which I didn't really think would happen up mm. at 6,500 elevation. But because we were by all the lakes, I think they were yeah. swarming in pretty hard. But. Dude, uh, on the last hike that I did while I was in L.A., uh, I was being bombarded by, I think, both flies and mosquitoes. Uh, and, you know, like so the first mile I was running and then like the last point seven five miles like i was just walking and you know but i'm like covered in sweat because i was just running and that it's also humid and it's hot Hot, yeah um and you know i could feel them just keep buzzing by me and then as soon as i got to the top just like oh like you know i got to the top i want to enjoy it yeah i mean couldn't even enjoy it (laughs) yeah like four to ten constantly just on me and i you know i am like a uh mosquitoes perfect 
blood type yeah. or something. <laughs> like they are just obsessed with me. I hate it. And so I, I was up there for like two minutes and I had to oh, go back sucks. down. I had to keep it moving. It was miserable. And yeah. there was some other girl up there, same time as me. And, you know, she's no just sitting there all calm. <laughs> and yeah, there. And I'm like so sweaty. I feel like these things are like sticking to Dude, me. It's I'm just like, it's bad. And then the mosquito bites, it's so miserable. When we were, we were just in Chicago for Kayla's brother's wedding mm. and uh, small ceremony, obviously. There's like 20 people there with everything going on right now. But. Yeah, it was insane. So we went, uh, the the house stuff was totally fine. Like just because they did it in the, the ceremony was at a, a park. And then we went to the house for like the, the uh, reception. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I got her dad hooked on fishing, little pond there. I was telling you about that. And we went at like 11, 11 o'clock at night or something. He's like, let's just go fish. We'll just, let's go try. I'm like, all right. So we go there. Dude, the next morning, I was in sweats, mm-hmm. shoes, long sleeve. I came back the next morning. I had like five in a row on my forearm. I had like eight on each of my ankles. And oh, dude, it was like the most miserable. Like the next night, I didn't, <laughs> I was like up until three in the morning because I couldn't sleep because it was so bad. I was God. like, oh my gosh. So this weekend, I was like, I am spraying bug spray. I'm wearing long sleeves. I was like, yep. you sound like such a baby saying, like, oh, bug bites. But like, yeah, mosquito bites, Don't trying to mad. sleep is miserable, yeah. dude. Like, well, and the worst is when you don't know you have it, and you're like, "Oh man!" Like, and then you're like, "Wait, this feels way too good." To itch. Yeah, and, and then, then you're like, you "No, down. I just yeah. screwed everything <laughs> up." Oh man! Oh man! And then then you're like, "Oh, maybe if I just scratch a box around it, right?" <laughs> oh. Get a little sensation from that, and then it grows even more, and you're like, "Dang it!" It sucks, dude. Can't do it. The only thing that saved me, I don't. I'll have to double check the the name of it, but there's some type of like lotion, or it's like starts with a C, Clara, Clara. I don't know. I'm going to screw it up if I try and name it, but it's pretty popular if you just like search like some type of lotion for mosquitoes Mm -hmm. and it does save you, dude. Like I would put it on and instantly it's like, okay, like I don't feel the urge to like itch these right now, but kind of numbs you. Yeah. It was clutch. So we need need to get that. Yeah. I should definitely invest in that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's like, if there's a place that there's mosquitoes, like within a minute, I've got a few bites and then by the end of the trip, my wife will have like three yeah. and I'll have like 30. <laughs> it's just like, it's insane. Yeah, it's nuts. Dude. Last time we went to Cancun, like we just got dropped off the shuttle and we're looking for the person who already is running one. out the Airbnb. <laughs> and I'm like, I think I just got bit mm-hmm. because I'm just like itching my leg. And it's like, you gotta be kidding. I just stepped out. Dude. You gotta be. Oh. I'm the same way. And Kayla, like she'll have, like you said, like one, two, maybe three. And I'm yeah. like over here with like, five on each limb mm-hmm. that was exposed i'm like oh my gosh dude yeah. they always it's go miserable. for my calves and i joke oh. with everyone i must have some really <laughs> succulent <laughs> calves it's oh, miserable so funny so funny yeah that's a that's a bad part it's like man i love like when I was, I was thinking i was sitting out there i'm like i love just like the nature and the trees and the mountains and all that but then like when you really think like the depth of like nature and like the animals that like mm-hmm. you know are out there you're like man i could get <laughs> Did you see the girl that was uh, pushed down by an actual a grizzly in Yosemite? No. She was like hiking what? and scared one, and it was by her cubs. So I think it jumped up and like pushed her to the ground, and she tried to use I don't know she tried to use bear spray. I don't know if she got it out or not. Is this recently? Yeah, like the other <laughs> day, and she was fine. But yeah, it like shoved her down, and then mm. they left. It's like oh Dang. my gosh. Yeah, I didn't hear about that. Joe Rogan's normally my bear news. Source. Yeah, dude, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, I yeah, I would poop my pants. Uh, well, thanks to Joe Rogan when he's always talking about mountain lions in his oh, area. And man. then he also posts on his, like, you know, I, I'm pretty sure he lives somewhere like in the hills, mm-hmm. like Calabasas or something, which I did a, two hikes there. Um, and you know, he posts a picture of like Bobcat yeah. in his backyard. And then he talks about the coyotes, coyotes. I'm not as worried about though. I'm sure they could still do a number on me. Um, but a bobcat, I mean, I'm terrified of my cat when it's coming at me. <laughs> and then even on top of that, a mountain lion. And oh what's gosh. horrifying is that like cats are just perfect predators. Yeah. And so I wouldn't even hear it. No. And then on these hikes, because I'm alone, I'm bored. I like, I, you know, I'm just trying to get out of the city and kind of see the area a little bit. And so I came prepared on 
two of the hikes with a bottle of uh, vodka and lemonade and then a bottle of water. (laughs) So I drink the vodka and lemonade going up and then uh, have my water on the way down. But, you know, once that buzz starts hitting, I uh, put in my earbuds and start listening to some good music. And I'm like, well, if I die, I die. Oh, my gosh. You know, I'm just thinking to my, like, you should have seen... You know, I'm always alone on these trails, uh, but like a squirrel or a lizard is mostly lizards. They're everywhere. Uh, yeah, they'll they'll just move. And like I'm thinking rattlesnakes, cougars. Yeah. You know, so I'm just like every little movement. Like I just, you know, <laughs> like I jump so bad. It, I felt like, a, you know, like a wuss. But yeah. I was also like, I don't know the gravity the of the situation. Yeah. And, you know, like when I'm looking around at hikes on there, there's a Malibu, like, uh, state park or something like that. And, like, it said, like, there's, like, a whole button on there that says wildlife, and the cover is a a mountain lion. And I'm like, perfect. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do this one by myself. (laughs) (laughs) You know, they're, so they usually say for, like, the mountain lions, they're, like, they're so, like, discreet and sneaky and Mm -hmm. quiet that they're, like, you probably, like, that you're actually probably passing a lot when you do, like, hikes in certain areas, but you'll never know it. Like, they'll see you, but you'll never know that they're there. That's like, horrifying. That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, and, well, and that's how I felt. Like, the second hike that I did, because uh, I, I got lost trying to find the hike, and then I found the hike, and, you know, I knew I was in the right place because there was people, like, getting ready to hike. Uh, and so I started walking down this trail thinking that it would, you know, like, follow this ravine and go up the mountain, but I start walking like a half mile down this trail and it's like very wooded and like you know like i I can't see the sun i can't see anything yeah and i am like you know i'm sweating bullets i was like (laughs) very worried and you know i kind of like almost you know sped walk jogged it back and then i found the actual trail (laughs) and i made it like yeah that one was i I guess just gonna follow the river but yeah i mean when there's no one around you probably don't have service and did you see even out here uh i don't there's an app called the next door next door or something i heard something about this there is in this area right not too far from here yeah. over up here I think my mom told me that there was a mountain lion <laughs> that's in, crazy like their ring doorbell picture yeah and see, they're if, like if everybody was, in this area yeah be careful i'm like what <laughs> what like they're yeah. i didn't even think they were they would live like out yeah. you know i know like they like like rocks and mountains but like we're pretty low elevation and there's mm. not a lot of like trees or anything I just figured they'd be like. Well, and how often do you there? see deer anymore? Like, right. I, I feel like we used to see it a lot more before uh, home developments, but or like, like coyotes. Literally. Like coyotes yeah. were cool. Yeah, but a mountain lion, get yeah. out that thing. Oh, yeah, no, no way. Like that Stretch. trail that we did, um, you know, like a month or two ago, I would have never expected to see a mountain lion yeah. there, but sketchy. apparently it's yeah. a genuine oh. <laughs> concern. Oh, it's sketchy. So. Yeah, nature is cool, and we will take the van to a lot of places, but hopefully stay away from all that. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So cool. Well, thank you guys, uh, Vic. Another fun one with you, man. I'm glad oh, yeah. you're back. Glad we're uh, getting one of these popped off again. And Heck yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, I hope everybody enjoys it. So thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you guys in the next one.